and welcome back to the nursery. Today I'm going to be doing um, kind of like a small little Christmas haul. Um, I have been collecting some stuff that's already out for the babies and for babies that I'm going to be sending home soon to their mamas for Christmas. Um, first, I'm just going to say I went to Dollar General and I was able to find these cute fleece blankets for about $5 and I thought they were going to be really tiny but I opened one up. There's one in this box here and it's actually really big. It's a really good size fleece blanket for $5 and I thought these would make really cute backdrops for the babies that I'm doing photos of for Christmas. So I got a couple of those. I have a third one in here and I'm just going to stick those aside. But also um, they do have some cute Christmas clothes at Dollar General if you have one. Um, this little outfit was $10. Usually their outfits don't cost this much. They usually are a lot cheaper but I did see this cute little uh, soft fleece like Christmassy winter outfit and um, my little silicone baby girl Emma is she wears like zero to three month size clothes and this was just the perfect size for her it has um, a cute little soft fleece pair of pants it has this sweet little onesie with a little girl reindeer on it and it has this cute matching hat so I want to get this washed up too so I can put her in it for um, the winter months it would be nice when it's cool out um, to be able to dress her in something cute like that um, I also have a pair of Christmas pajamas that I found um, for her that was in my closet so she has that and I'll do a video when I dress her in her Christmas outfit but I do have a couple of bigger babies, um, Rylan and his sister Shea. They need um, some outfits for Christmas because those two babies are newer babies in my collection that I created and they wear three to six month clothes, most of the time six month size. So I had to go online ugh, to Carter's and try to find some. Uh, Christmas PJs in their size before they sold out because they usually sell out really quick so I'm just gonna show you what I got for them um this is so cute um, and then I'm gonna wash these with the rest of the baby clothes so this is a cute little Christmas pajama set with Santa and reindeer and penguins on it so cute and it has the little feet so you can tell by the size, like I can't even fit it in the camera frame. <laughs> These are huge pajamas for, you know, big babies. You know, I have a couple of bigger babies. Um, I do have a 12 month baby as well. So these are three to six month size, but I do have an outfit um, for her, believe it or not, for my 12 month size um, baby. Uh, last year I ordered something online and it was supposed to be newborn size and I swear it's like 12 month size so that'll fit her so I think I'm gonna put this on Shea and then Rylan I think he's gonna look cute in this one this one has like a um, it feels like a sewed on like soft flannel Santa Claus and I think he's so cute ho, ho, ho. Um, with this little green collar and it has like little green um, sleeves and it has little feet too and it's zip up as well so it's your classic like Christmas red and green outfit and I think that will look really cute for a little baby boy I think with Shea I'll probably find a red bow for her and dress this up with a red bow and that'll be really cute for her so I'm gonna put this in my pile here for stuff to wash and then we're gonna dive into this big box of Christmas stuff because I really need to go through it and see what I have and what I can use for babies that I'm sending home and um, what I'm gonna dress my babies in for Christmas. You'll get an idea. And we'll do like a changing video and show me changing them and dressing them up for Christmas. But um, this is that other like little fleece blanket that I was telling you about from um, Dollar General for $5 and then I also found these 
this year at Dollar General. I thought these were really cute and I think they were only a couple of dollars. I don't have the tag on them, but they're like knitted. They're really cute, like little knitted stockings. Um, I had to use these for a photography session the other day, so I took the tags off, but these are so super pretty. And I do have some more stockings in here from last year that I got from Dollar Tree for only a buck. And I'll be sending these stockings home with babies that are going home. So um, I also needed to get these two little Santa hats. And I used these in um, a photography session yesterday as well. And I did get these from... Um, I got these from the dollar store. They were only a buck at the dollar store. So if you need Santa hats, they're at the dollar store. Um, I got this too for the same session. Um, I got this little 20, 2020 Santa bear and a little Rudolph. And like I said, I've been using these for Christmas photos. And I got those at Dollar General. And these I actually got last year, although I never used them. These are a couple of like they say they're newborn size, but I feel like they're zero to three months. Yeah, they are zero to three months. Um, I got these cute little pajamas that I never used last year. I got them in like a pack of five pajamas and I was using them originally to send Christmas babies home in and these ones just never got used. So I again used those for a photo session for a couple of babies I was photographing um, that are up for adoption. And this is another one that looks almost like candy cane striped button up pajamas with like little footsies. So that is super cute. And then last year, um, once again, I never used these little stuffed animals. I found all these cute little, let me show you this one that like has like a little Christmas present and little red ears. Um, I found all these cute little plush Christmas toys, which are really cute for photos, like if you do Instagram. Um, I found these at Dollar Tree, and I'm sure they have them again this year. They were only a buck. I found all these little cute plushy toys, and I planned um, to send these home with babies, but like I said, I bought way too many, and um, those will go home with babies this year. I saved them for this year. Um, also, I like to do little goodies in my box openings. So I put like candies and any kind of like Christmas stuff that I can find in these little um, Christmas tins. They're like little mailboxes. How cute is that? This one says joy on it. And I'll be using these for box packings. I only have two of these left. So they open up, they're so cute. You can put stuff in them, they're adorable. So I have those, and then I got these at Dollar, at the Dollar Store, was it Dollar General? Dollar General, yeah, that's what the bag says. So Dollar General. Um, this is like a little necklace. I actually used this as a photo prop as well. I turned on this little necklace lights up, and I can wear it on Christmas if I want to. I'll get good use out of it, I'm sure. Um, when we do any kind of Christmas decorating or fun stuff this year, but I used these as a photo prop and they turned out really cute in my Christmas photos. So that was fun. And then I got these for the nursery window. So I have a little window in the nursery and it looks out to my neighbors and I just thought this would be so super cute. I love snowmen, so I have a little snowman one. So I'm gonna put these in the window and let me see. Oh, here I got a couple of things for the nursery too to decorate. But I didn't have any Christmas decorations. So I thought this would be like really cute for my desk. It says let's get cozy. And this is for my door. I do have a little hook on the outside of my door of the nursery. And I thought this would be so cute. It says Merry Christmas. It has a little camper with a Christmas tree. And this kind of means something to me. Number one, I love snowmen. So that's why I picked out this. Um, snowmen are my favorite theme for Christmas. My kids are really sick of snowmen because that's what they see all the time. At Christmas time, I tend to collect snowmen. But this is kind of cool because we did end up 
Um, I don't know if you watched one of my videos. We did end up having, we had a camper outside here, right outside the nursery that my husband and I used to camp in. And we ended up having to give our camper to a needy family member who um, was affected by the COVID um, virus and they lost their home. So we ended up taking that up to Virginia and they have that now. So we kind of don't have our camper anymore, which is okay. But I think that that was really cute. So I can put that on my door so I can at least remember our little camper and hopefully we'll be able to get another one sometime. And this is just extension cords because <laughs> I needed them. I always need them every year for Christmas. And um, I got a couple, these are actually from the Dollar Tree. I got these this year. Um, these are just like some little Christmas socks. I love wearing socks, I'm always cold, so I always wear socks around the house. So these are for me. These have like little gingerbread houses and candy canes and reindeer. And this has like cute little penguins on it. It says warm wishes and that's super cute. So I've got me a couple of pair of socks for this winter and I also have like different kinds of Christmas ribbons. When I send babies home, I have to wrap them in Christmas blankets and I usually put a Christmas ribbon around them to hold everything together. So I'm gonna use that for box packings. And it looks like there's some more tins in here. Have a couple more um, cute little Christmas tins. This one has like little gloves on it and this one has um, ornaments and candy and little like gingerbread men on it so cute so I'll use those and then let's see oh here's some of my goodies too that I put in with box packings I've got some little candy canes and little bells and then I have some thank you cards some little Christmas cards so these will be good as well and let's see I've got these little stockings that I'm gonna send home with babies. And like I said, I found these at the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar last year. And these were just items that I never ended up using that I will use this year. And I think these are the same, like Santa and reindeer ones. So these are really cute for boys and for girls. And here we go, I have some um, pajamas for my baby. So this is what my babies are going to be wearing um, for Christmas this year. So I have this cute little snowman hat. This is by Carter's and it's knitted and it has this cute little poofy snowball on top which I love. So this is super cute and I'm going to stick this. I need to put these in like the clothing pile. And then this is a cute little hat that I had made for one of my very first Reborns, Mr. Braden. And my very first Reborn, this was what he wore his first year for Christmas. So I still use this every year for him and put this on his bald little head because he's was my first Reborn and he um, didn't have any hair. He's a little baldy and I, he's my only baldy in my collection. but. Um, I always keep hats on him, so I kept this for him to wear every year. So he has that. And then this is a cute little Carter's um, pajama outfit. I believe this is preemie size, it is. So this is preemie. I actually bought this last year for one of my little preemie girls. And this says my first Christmas ever on the little long sleeve onesie that goes with it. So we've got that and then this is by Carter's and it's a little green zip up pajama outfit and just so you know most of my babies wear pajama outfits that are fleece, soft fleecy like zip up ones because I just feel like that's my favorite thing to dress my Reborns in that just makes them so cozy and soft. I just love that. So um, this has... Santa and his milk and cookies and it says ho 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 and yum on it and that's super cute and then this one is also by Carter's 
and I think this one is preemie size. This is a preemie sized one. So this says snuggle with me and it's red and has little penguins on the feet. And this is a newborn size by Carter's and it has Santa Clauses on it. And it's so cute. And then this one I love because of course it has little Santa Clauses and snowmen on it with little snowflakes and it's red and green. And this is also newborn by Carter's. They seem to make the cutest Christmas stuff so that's usually what I end up getting. Um, this has like little reindeer on it and Santa's on it and little Santa feet there which I love. I always love when they put stuff on the booties or the feet. Um, this one is also newborn by Carter's and it's like a little red and white pajama set with little reindeer on it and reindeers on the little feet as well which is so cute. And I really liked this one. I got this one last year and it's newborn but it feels a lot bigger. Like it just fit a little bit bigger. Um, this seems like a bigger newborn size and it's for a little girl and I love that it was pink. It is so hard to find stuff that's pink for Christmas. And this is pink with little Santas on it and it has little Santas on the feet. But what I really loved about this was it had these cute little pleats in it. So it looked very girly with these little like pleats. And then it had this cute little like, um, like scalloped collar that had like red and white polka dots. It just looked more girly. Like most of the PJs, especially if they have Santa on them, they just look more boyish. So that was really cute to find for a girl. And then I found this gray and red striped pajama with like a green collar and it has like a little reindeer on it. And this definitely looks boyish to me. So that'll probably go on a little boy this year. And here is another cute little girl one that I found. It doesn't have the pleats, but it is at least pink and it has Santa on it with Christmas trees. And I thought this was like a really cute um, girl pajama. It's so hard to find Christmas pajamas that are for girls. Like I said, I've really had to try hard. And this one's definitely boyish. It's gray and green striped with Santa on it. So that'll go for a little boy. And last but not least, this is my other favorite girl one. This is a light pink with little penguins and polar bears and reindeer and Santa Claus on it. And I really like that this one is like a lighter pink. And that looks really girly and cute. And then um, I just have these like little tags to use um, for little like gift tags for um, my babies that I'm packing up to do box packings with. And they just have all different kinds of cute like Christmas characters and stuff on them with little bells. So I have those and then I also have some Christmas tissue paper. So I have like red and green tissue pa um, paper to wrap gifts with. Um, for my box packings, I use a lot of tissue paper to like wrap up clothes and diapers and goodies. And then these I got last year I found online. These are like little um, Christmas Honest diapers. And I still have so many packs left. I still have three packs. And I have one that's still open here. I'm going to show you guys real quick what these cute little diapers look like. Oh, I pulled them out too fast. Okay. So look, these little reindeer diapers. These are so cute. They have like little Christmas lights hanging from their antlers. It's so sweet. And they look like little Rudolphs with like the red noses on them. Like these little reindeer have little <laughs> red noses. So cute. So that is what's at the end of my box. I'm gonna start washing these baby clothes up and getting them ready to go. And then when I do dress up the babies, I'll do a video for you guys, a real quick uh, video showing me dressing up my babies for Christmas. And um, 
Are you guys, do you guys dress all of your Reborns up for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below what you guys do with your Reborns for Christmas. Do you decorate your nursery if you have one? Do you buy like Christmas themed like little stuffed animals and bottles and pacifiers and things like that? Do you do anything special for your babies for the Christmas holiday? Let me know. And I will see you guys on my next video. You guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.